This video is going to continue looking at the fundamental concepts of plastic analysis. We're going to look at plastic hinges in steel beams and begin to build upon where they form in certain beams that I simply supported or uh, fixed end beams and we're also going to look at partial and complete collapse of these beams. Each beam has a plastic moment of resistance. Now, plastic moment of resistance is denoted by an uppercase M, lowercase p. The value of MP is the maximum value of moment which can be applied to a cross section before a plastic hinge develops. Now, where do these plastic hinges form in a beam? Well, if we take this a uh, simply supported beam here. When this beam collapses, a hinge will form in the center of this beam and the deformed shape will look something like this. Now, why does the plastic hinge form in the middle? Well, if we draw the bending moment diagram, we can see the plastic hinge forms where the bending moment is greatest or a peak in the bending moment diagram occurs. So um, if we just quickly look at say a fixed end, fixed end beam like this, um, I can tell you that this for this beam to completely collapse three hinges must form. Why must three hinges must form. Again, looking at the bending moment diagram, we can see that there are three peaks in the bending moment diagram and plastic hinges form at these peaks when a beam uh, undergoes complete collapse. Let's clarify then where plastic hinges form in a beam. So, Let's look at this beam here. We have a continuous beam, fixed end at A, at point B we have a pin support and the same at point C. Um, don't worry about the loading, I'm just showing that the beam is loaded, but we can immediately identify where plastic hinges would form at um, a time of complete collapse of this beam. If we draw the bending moment diagram, we'll see uh, from the peaks how these plastic hinges relate to the peaks of the bending moment diagram. So the important thing to get from this is that plastic hinges occur where the maximum bending moment occurs in a beam. When looking at a steel beam and the plastic hinges that can form, it is important to realise that we could either be looking at partial collapse or full collapse of a steel beam. So let's just quickly take this fixed end, fixed end beam. We know that for this beam to fully collapse, three hinges must form. And we know this from the bender moment diagram. So if we were to say, um, in a given scenario, uh, for instance, that two hinges form, we know that we're looking at partial collapse. We're not looking at a com com complete collapse of this beam. Now, for full collapse, there are three conditions which must be satisfied. That is, the beam mechanism, the equilibrium condition, and the yield condition. Um, the mechanism condition is where sufficient hinges must form to develop a mechanism by which the, it fails. The equilibrium condition is in which the bending moments for any collapse mechanism must be in equilibrium with the applied collapse load. Now normally this is always satisfied in problems and we don't really need to concern ourselves with this one too much but we nonetheless we need to be aware of it. The yield condition in which the magnitude 
of the bending moment anywhere on the structure cannot exceed the plastic moment of resistance of the member in which it occurs. So, when identifying full collapse of a beam, we primarily need to be concerned with the mechanism condition and the yield condition and whether those are satisfied. If they're satisfied, then we have full collapse of a beam. We'll be looking at um, these three conditions in more detail in further tutorials. So, just to summarise then before we look at problems in other videos. We know that MP is the plastic moment of resistance and is the maximum value of moment which can be applied to a cross section before a plastic hinge develops within a beam. We know that plastic hinges form at locations of the maximum moment in a beam and we can use our bending moment diagrams to identify where these locations are. Also, we could be looking at partial and full collapse of a beam. For full collapse, three conditions must be satisfied. The mechanism, equilibrium and yield. We'll be looking at these three conditions in more detail in the next few videos. But for now, um, hopefully you're aware of how to identify where plastic hinges form and um, the difference between partial and complete collapse of a beam.